Hello everyone, so we want to find the general solution to the equation 2 to the power sine squared x plus 2 to the power cosine squared x equals 3. Okay, there we go. So let's see where to start. Um, so let me begin by, of course we know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x or is equals 1. This is the Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to express one of these in terms of the other, most likely this. So let me write this as 2 to the power sine squared x plus 2 to the power. Now instead of cosine, I'm just going to say 1 minus uh, sine squared x. I could also replace this with cosine and it would work just fine so this equals three there we go now from the laws of indices or the properties of exponents this would be this right here would be two to the power one uh divide by two to the power sine squared x all this equals three and just to avoid working with um this big thing since it appears twice i'm just going to let uh okay i'm just going to let 2 to the power sine squared x to be uh something else maybe a y not bad okay so let's proceed here oops this is bad okay so let's proceed from here now i have uh y plus 2 divided by y, okay, equals 3. Let me get rid of the fraction, so that will be y squared uh, plus 2 equals 3y, and you can see we have a uh, quadratic equation, a polynomial of degree 2, which you can go ahead and factorize to solve this. And this should be y minus 2, into y minus 1, um, cos here, that's a 0 that was left on this side. Okay, so y equals 2 and y equals 1. So those are the two values of y. But hey, we're not interested in finding y. We actually want to find the general solutions to this equation, which is in terms of x. So let's come back and now find x. So um i'll just start from this very expression here now let's take a case okay uh let's take a case where y equals uh one so this is going to be two to the power sine squared x equals one i can just write one as two to power zero by the way and this would imply directly that sine squared x equals 0. If I take square roots on both sides, then I have sine x equals 0. And the, the general solution to this would be, so first of all, 0 is actually a solution to this. But then since sine x is a periodic function, uh, this is going to be true every after 2 pi. So yeah, x equals 0 plus 2 pi n, where n is an integer. So yeah, this is the general solution for this case. Uh, then we also have other cases, for example. Uh, so we have a case of uh, y equals 2. Let's deal with that. Okay, so we have the case of y equals 2. That means 2 to the power sine squared x equals 2, 2 to the power 1. Uh, so this is the same as sine squared x equals 1. Okay, which implies that sine x is, if I take square roots on both sides here, then I'll have uh, plus or minus 1, the square root of plus or minus 1, which basically is plus or minus 1. So we have two cases. Um, we have, let me just change the color here. 
so for for sine x equals positive one uh let's see pi over two is a solution to this but again sine is periodic so it could say plus two pi n of course n again is an integer uh positive and negative both apply here then for sine x equals negative one you'll have x equals uh well you could have three over four pi again plus two pi n where n is an integer or for this you could actually say also x equals minus pi over four plus two pi n still n is an integer okay so let me just highlight the key solutions here we have this right here we have this here and we also have this so those are the general solutions to this um, nice equation right here okay so that's the end of this video if you like this give it a thumbs up if you think it's helpful uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this if you would love to send me a problem, use the Google form in the description of this video. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a good time. Bye.